On October 6th and 7th, from 11 to 2.30, the kids' store, Toy Chest, located in West Hartford Center, held a silhouette drawing event. The silhouette artist was Keith Donaldson from Florida. I started this in 2003 at Disney World, Magic Kingdom. Um, I was always good at drawing before that, and then Disney hired me based upon my drawings, my profile drawings, and I've been cutting ever since, freelancing at Disney, but mostly traveling to children's events like this now. I've always had a passion for people and drawing, and, and being able to capture a likeness has always been like the most interesting thing to me. Um, and, and the fact that uh, I can use scissors to do it, it's more like a sculpting art, and I really get a nice sharp contrast you know, with the black paper versus just sketching, you know? So I think to me this is the most quickest way to capture likeness, and it's also the most strongest um, likeness you can get because you're actually capturing the shadow, and the mind is actually filling in all the details for you. Whereas, you know, if you draw somebody, you have to add color, you have to add texture. Um, by the time you do all those things, you know, they actually may take away from the likeness more than if you just had a nice, strong, um, profile which really defines the personality I think. I actually uh, believe it or not I made most artistic all throughout middle school and, and grade school but then I got to high school I was so good at drawing because the teachers actually would allow me to draw all the time okay that I never was able to um, focus on the other crafts so I almost got it lo lost interest in art when I was in high school but then later on I wanted to draw comic books so I studied almost every book I could on anatomy and figure drawing. You know, it took me months, I think, to really perfect it. Um, but uh, after like, a couple weeks, I was able to do it for Disney. I was planning on drawing portraits there, uh, but they saw my work. They said I had a sharp eye. So and it, they had just been a deficit of um, silhouette artists because 9-11 had happened a couple years before that. So they, they, I guess they assumed that um, since I was so good I, I, you know, with my drawings, I'd be able to pick it up quicker than most people, which, which I did, actually. I was able to skip about... Two, two, three weeks of the actual schooling there and go right to the cutting. I, I sat behind a couple of different artists for just two weeks. I basically tried to keep up with what they were doing. And then they said, okay, you're ready. And they just kind of threw me out their Memorial Day weekend. And I learned by doing. So I, it was a busy summer and I was, it was fun. And then I started freelancing at Downtown Disney, a uh, different company. So I got more commission, but I was able to come and go. And we actually started doing art shows every weekend almost. So we go like to different seafood festivals and, you know, go into Savannah, Georgia a lot and stuff like that. And it was, it was real fun to be able to, um, you know, be in business for myself for the first time. I think it's something you can teach, but I think you have to have the right students. So I, w I would say that, you know, if someone's artistic and they have the ability to, to first draw a likeness, you know. Like the, the one book I recommend is Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. Um, I think it's very important to be able to, to have the subject right in front of you, eye level with what you're seeing and, and have your, your paper or your, your uh, canvas right up next to the subject. Because a lot of people I think would, um, left brain people tend to be more iconic and not be able to, to draw the actual um, lines, interpret them correctly. So I think you have to be somewhat of a right brain person and you know be able to draw enough to know what anatomy is. And then once you could master anatomy and then you know drawing it from the right side of the brain, I think you could then teach you know, the, the average person over a period of time and practice. Yeah, actually, I've done a lot of weddings. I've done uh, birthday parties. We go to preschools and we're doing, you know, doing like theme park weddings and, um, you know, different pl things like that uh, through different talent agencies. A couple took their grandson to get his silhouette drawn. You made the appointment to? yesterday? It wasn't their first time at Toy Chest. Many times, oh, okay. many, many times, and we'll be back many other times. Pretty much I could draw, um, you know, cut anything I wanted to. I don't get too intricate anymore because I find that if you get, if you put too many details in a silhouette, it actually takes away from it. And a lot of artists don't realize that less is sometimes more. Um, and being able to capture that actual outline shape, it defines everything right there. So that's more important than being able to put in the little cuts and nuances and things like that. Because you want, you want to, when you, in the end, your, your result should be, should, should be um, the subject. It shouldn't be something that's so amazing and so detailed that takes away from the subject. It should just outline the subject. They were pleased with the results. Yes, it's very, very cute. Very cute. We're happy with it.